Ah, magnificent, aren't they? Magnificent pieces of engineering, pieces of war. Gobo craftsman, craftsmanship at its finest. Oh my god, I love these things. I might have a problem, I'll admit it. Hello there. Welcome to another 2v2 Warhammer 2 battle. You might recognize the field, the field of battle. You might recognize the factions. That is because this is a... <laughs> Recorded on the same day as a uh, as the how you said as a Turian and the uh, tech list defense of uh, defense defense against the Red Duke and uh, the Dark Elves. Yeah, I, my brain is uh, taking a, a bit loading. This was uh, played on the same day as that, so these are the same players. So if you remember, Archer was playing the Bump accounts. Why am why I utter? was playing the... how do you call it? I forgot what the name of the faction. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a failure as a fucking Warhammer 2 player. The Dark Holds, yeah. And Hi... Shai, Hi I forget his name is playing as the Hiles. Oh my god. So yeah, this time uh, I'm bringing the whole... <laughs> the whole power of the Goblin Air Force at its maximum potential. Five! Doom Diver catapults here to dominate the skies. Why do you need bar guys? Why do you need dragons? Why do you need bats? Why do you need terror guys? When you can just fire some unfortunate Doom Diver gobbles from a catapult. It is peak engineering, I tell you that. It is peak engineering. I, 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 just wait a minute, I want to see this. I want to see this. I need to see this. Come on, come on, land. Kill these bastards. Okay, that, that one did not quite land. Oh my god, oh, okay, okay, oh my god, that is some precision. Do the number catapults have basically ballistic missiles, okay? You fire the missile and then the missile guides itself towards the target, so they're basically dead. <laughs> okay, so let's get this started, okay, with uh, some... Uh, some quick, 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 quick what? Quick uh, armor composition, yes. So, my teammate is once again, the, the teams are basically the same except but that I'm playing as the, as the Orcs now. So yeah, uh, the same army as my teammate from last time. He's, he, he's bringing Tyrion with Sunfang and the other ability that I forget how, I, how it, it is called. It's, hey, Tyrion, stop moving. The Finder of Repose and Sanju Grand, of course, the Heart of Avalon, because you don't want the, you always want Tyrion to have Heart of Avalon to regenerate that speed. A front line of three spearmen and two rangers to hold the line and allow the archers to fire as well as the Dune Divers and the rest of the army. Two normal archers, just basic archers. Uh, pretty cheap, but uh, capable of doing a lot of damage. One Lothran Sigurd to be able to still deliver some damage because of the of the archery, but uh, still able to hold the line with their spear and the, their shields. Two eagle bolt throwers, some really good artillery, really good at sniping heroes and sniping cap and other shit. The major fire up on top of a sun, of a sun dragon using a burning head and fireball, as well as a star a starwood staff and the book of hearts for some good old magic recharge. Meanwhile, I am bringing the, of course, that five Dundabra catapults, these amazing <laughs> pieces of engineering. I keep repeating that, but they really do. They really are. Two units of uh, standard Black Orcs and one unit of the Crimson Killers. Basically, the best infantry unit that the Orcs can bring to the table. This army is being commanded by Grimgor and an Orc Shaman, who is bringing Feast of Gork, Here We Go, and Foot of Gork. For just uh, some uh, good buffs and some amazing footage damage that you are going to see in play very, very soon. <laughs> I, I just wait until you see it. Meanwhile, I'm bringing Green Green and he's bringing Gits Mix, Blood for Child More, Get Back Here for some for, uh, best of the best, and of course, you're next. Let's see now the opposite armies. Do you like that, uh, that that good old transition? I hope you like it. So yeah, uh, Archer here playing as the, as the Vampire Counts is bringing the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord, just uh, some good old melee lord who's bringing his magic, of course, and uh, other stuff. Uh, Home of Discord. Okay, well, 
Yeah, tell them of Discord. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Heart piercing, they are sort of anti heroes. And a shit ton of magic, actually. Uh, Raise the Dead, Invocation of the Heck, and Course of Dunes, and of course the Win of Dead. Some very, a, a really good win spell. And his army basically consists of the raw hero army of uh, Return of the King. So if, if you have seen that movie, just basically a massive cavalry charge. Four units of Blood Knights buried lead with silver chevrons. This has. If these guys are used properly, they are basically a doom stack, I, I would say. At least for multiplayer, maybe not in campaign. <laughs> Well, if they are supported, which uh, the infantry is being, uh, of course, put up, bringing, brought up by the Dark Ops, who is bringing basically an army of Shaft. There is no other way to tell it. Dread Spears and Dread Swords are really good, are really good at holding la the line, but not at killing anything, and they're really uh, not elite by any means of the imagination. But he's also bringing two units of Hargonite Executioners to just chew up. Everything. I think these guys can actually beat up Black Orcs if they wish to. So yeah, we'll see them in action now. Oh, he's also bringing the Claw of Nagash. Uh, the the Bumper Guns, that is not the Dark Ops, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, the Mortis Engine, Regiment of Nang, which has an aura, of an aura of regeneration as well as an aura of damage. So if you stand near this thing, you're going to die. I don't know how magic. That's the only explanation you need. Meanwhile, the Duke Army is being commanded by the Supreme Sorcerer of Shadow, who is bringing Mystifying, Melkor's Mystifying Miasma and the Penumbral Pendulum, as well as Arcane Conduit for some recharge on her magic, and Anarchy Pulse Black Horror, which I'm not really sure what it does, and Opal, the Opal Amulet for some good old war safe, and of course the Kennedy Assassin to try to hunt down any heroes that uh, come his way, and in the flank, which are going to be a Really dangerous, uh, really dangerous uh, flank. Whatever. Shut up. My my brain is, is slowing. Three units of cold one red nuts. One of it, of which have, has already taken a lot of hits. You already see that like these guys are basically uh, half models, 26 models left. And our two units here trying to hide into a forest and uh, probably pincer the army with uh, alongside the blood knights. So yeah, those are the armies. Let's get this start, shall we? And we are getting this start with a uh, Tyrion charging him to the front, and uh, not sure what he's doing. He's retreating. Not sure what that, what that was. What, oh, also there, there's a first first half minutes about to uh, charge into the kind of assassin. Oh yeah, sending him flying the poor bastard and just retreating. Okay, fair enough. Oh no. Oh my God, that doom diver just. Oh, and what do we have here? The sun fan coming in. He is going to catch the Hargon Executioners. Hargon Executioners, it seems like. They try to evade the hit, but they are not able to completely do that. Although it doesn't seem like it did a lot of damage. Let's let's look at that real quickly. Yeah, only 67 damage ball. That was a... I mean, it looked good, but it actually did not do anything. Maybe... Uh, delayed, him, delayed their entry into the front line, but actually not doing a lot of damage. But meanwhile, the Doom Divers, do you know what's doing over the damage? The Doom, Divers, the Doom Divers are, they're just crashing into this poor Duki front line and just teaching these uh, rapist and bloodthirsty maniacs a thing or two about death by just splashing them into the ground and leaving them as a smear, a bloody smear into the ground. Yeah, they're just, the Dark Old front line is basically just getting squashed to death by these guys. More Harkon Executioners killed by a flying gobble. What a, a really not a really a b bad way to die. But meanwhile, the charge of the Blood Knights here they come. They're going to try to break the line. They're going. It seems like for the Rangers. Oh, the, that uh, evil Vulture is not looking on a good on a good position there. And yeah, they're going to completely trash these Rangers. These guys are. Yeah, they don't have any uh, defense until large, uh, against large, so they're just going to get squashed. But right now, the archers are trying to fire in. Actually, they're firing into the the blixers. Oh, and one of the of the blood knights is now uh, changing targets, going for the eagle bolt thrower and uh, probably also for the Dundai once they change targets. Uh, the cloth nagash coming in, uh, fire, uh, burning head, trying to. Uh, even the even the grounds in the in the how do you call it <laughs> the front line 
because it seems like they're they, they are really amassing their forces in this flank. But now we have a uh, the blood knight just completely eviscerating these ranges. But what's this? What's this? Oh my god, what's this? A foot of gold in the middle of the formation and just like that. The charge of the Blood Knights, it's stopped on its tracks with a bunch of elite vampire warriors dead, squashed into the ground. That seems to be like a, a team with this battle. A amazing play, if I say so myself, by the Orc play, which, I mean, it's myself, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how much damage did the Orc Shaman do? Oh my god, let me see. 3,100 already paid for itself with only one, uh, with only one uh, spell, but... Oh, but Invocation of the, of the Heck coming up, trying to keep the Blood Knights into the fight. I mean, that was a pretty critical hit, but they still are in the fight and are, and are now uh, trying to kill off the Black Orcs. Meanwhile, on this side, the front line for the, for the High Elves is really suffering right now. They have broken through. The Rangers and the uh, Spearmen are long gain, going to be get destroyed by these Harkon Executioners and the Claw of Nagash. And meanwhile, the flank of the Cold One Dread Knights has managed to sneak upon and start hitting the Doom Diver Catapult, shutting down, shutting them down these vital pieces of artillery and just destroying their crews. And Tyrion already taken a lot of damage, having a being having an Assassin's Trophy pop up. Popped up on him and just debuffing him immensely and being surrounded by the Cold One Dread Knights. He's getting come. Oh, and Murderous Prowess now into effect. The Frost Heart, Frost Heart Phoenix coming into the fight, trying to stop the massive route of the High Elf frontline, but things are not looking good, like at all. Tyrion already pretty low. Uh, Assassin's Trophy, a lot of a lot of spells coming up here. Web Shadows to and. Uh, and Melkor's mystifying Miasma coming out trying to deliver some more damage into Turan and keep him keep, keep him from escaping with that with those debuffs to his speed and Assassin's Trophy just keeping him dying. And the first first half finish just staying here, not being able to do much. The Black Horse have been sent into the fight. They're trying to stop the the Blood Knights who are being the Hit hard by the archers, by both the archers and the Dunderdiver catapults. Good, good hits there. But meanwhile, the the left flank for the for the high elf orc army has completely co collapsed. The this uh, cold one dread knights are just running around, trampling key units of this combined army. The uh, first the Dunderdivers and now the archers. This is going to hurt pretty badly. Uh, Helm of Discord being popped up by the. Blood Dragon uh, chipping away at the melee attack and the melee defense of the, of the Black Orcs, but now here we go, coming up and at least buffing up the melee attack and uh, allowing these guys to hit hard to these Blood Knights and at least I, being able, if not defend themselves, being able to hit the Blood Knights really hard, which is, I mean, the Orc way to do it. And Mingle Tyrion is really suffering here. Uh, yeah, the, the, the way Mystifying Miasma and Word of Shadows and being surrounded by all of these units, uh, the Kainan Assassin and the Cold One Red Knight has really chipped away at his health and he's on the verge of breaking. Meanwhile, this unit of Black Orcs trying to kill the Hargon Executioners who are already already uh, low because of the fire that came their way, so they're not going to be able to chew up the Black Orcs who already have a Feast of Gork and now. But the uh, Hargon Executioners still have. Oh no, they have lost. They have just lost. Oh no, they still have Mother's prowess, but with Ringor coming from the from the back, that's going to be a win from the Black Horse, I will imagine. And now, the Crimson Killers finally being mobilized. Too late, if you ask me. I mobilized them very, very late on the on this fight. They were needed ages ago. They were needed to to uh, plug in the gap that is forming right now. The Mage of Fire coming into the Dragon, not trying to save Chewing, who has now thankfully healing with the with the uh, Heart of Avalon, so he's not in critical danger right now. But it, and Gringor trying to come in and save him, trying to intercept the Cold One Dread Knights, but uh, we're not too sure he's he's going to be successful. And the Mage of 
Sorry about the cut, there, there was a, a bit of a crash, so uh, everything's fine. There's no worry. Uh, so, as I think I was saying, the. the yeah, the, the, mage, the mage dragon is coming in, trying to even the fight here because the. Yeah, the Blood Knights are, alongside the Glove Nagash are really. Are, are really the center of this formation and are really breaking them, but. Yeah. This might not have been a good choice because as you see, the. The Glove Nagash is looking uh, to kill this. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, he's looking to get this guy and kill the and uh, eliminate the magic potential of this uh, of of the dragons. I mean, of the dragons of the high elves. That's what I meant to say. Oh, but we come to this side. Uh, Twin is still running for his life, but a huge win for the high elf orc army as the supreme sorceress, the commanding lord of the dark elf dark elf army, has been. Killed. She's dead. The uh, green girl chopped, up, chopped, chopped up her head. So yeah, that's a that's a huge win there, but uh, it might get nullified here, as the major fire on, his, on her dragon is getting destroyed by the um, by the blood knights who are now surrounding her as, as well as the as the club Nagash and the zombies now who appear to have been summoned um, into the Lotus Seagard are now trying to cut her escape route and course of course of years. Uh, Debuffing her speed is probably not good for her. She's losing hit points fast. Meanwhile, the archers are doing their best to equal the fight. Same with the Doom Diver still firing, still trying to deliver their damage. Killing some. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think the audio was breaking a bit there. I don't know why. Still trying to break this uh, this dead ball of the of the Blood Knights and the Club Nagash. A lot of Blood Knights are st has, have still died. That's. Oh my lord, the amount of blood knights, I do not want to... Oh my god, they have lost a lot of models, but the regeneration coming their way is really keeping keeping them up on the, in the fight. Mingle Grimble here being surrounded a bit by the Cold Red Knights, but I mean, he should be fine, right? Probably not, but... Uh, but hopefully the Black Horse coming coming with us soon. Oh, and uh, the major fire is really suffering. Another unit of Dundaba Catapults being shot up by the Hargan Executioners. The Wah finally coming up. The Not really very useful because I don't have a lot of uh, melee infantry, but uh, yeah, by uh, what little I have is going to be uh, pretty buffed by that. This uh, Crimson Killer just destroying now these uh, Hargan Executioners, but if we look over here. Things are looking uh, a bit, a bit uh, dangerous for Tune once again. The Cold One Red Knights have abandoned Gringor and are now trying to shut up, to shut in, in Tyrion into a trap. Kainat hasn't come from this way. The Dread Spear is coming from the other. They're trying to get Tyrion, and I don't think he's going to escape. I don't think the player has noticed. And no, the assassin coming in to, sh to kill him, being surrounded by the Dread Knights. Another unit of Dread Knights coming in. A good play by the Dark, by the. Dark of the Sword now getting Tyrion surrounded and are trying to finish him off. A Gringo with the, the Black Horse trying to come in and save him, but uh, yeah, he's going to lose, to lose a lot of hit points on that engagement. Uh, stand your ground and get back here trying to keep Tyrion, uh, keep Tyrion's melee defense up. Same and with uh, Find and Repost, that's going to help him even more, nullifying Assassin's Trophy by basically all of it. And thankfully, the Black Horse and, and Gringo have coming and saved Tyrion from that uh, from that fight. Uh, something coming in actually. Let's see. Maybe not. Okay, no, I don't think. Oh man, yeah. I, 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 oh god, that might have uh, hurt me uh, more, more than, than than the enemy, but I, I don't think that's too much. But yeah, Mingo. Uh, oh, some units of the Dark Elves have been <laughs> left behind. Uh, I mean, I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. But yeah, Mingle the archers is still trying, is still keeping behind the the, the fight, try, trying to def, to kill the clan Nagash and the and the Blood Knights, who, despite all of the fire that has come their way, they still have managed to keep keep on the fight because of, mainly because of the clan Nagash, who, who keeps up the constant re regeneration. But the amount of invocation of the hex that have probably come up, uh, yeah, they they must have helped the the Blood Knights keep up the fight, but. Uh, yeah, not a lot of troops seem to remain for the high elves and the and the and the orcs. 
most of the York units are here, uh, chasing uh, what appears to be, yeah, they, they appear to be chasing the Canadian Assassin, I don't know if that's a good idea. Yeah, that, that, that is probably a bad play by me, I'm taking all of these units to pursue just one hero, who's already damaged, one mingle, the whole of the enemy army is, and the Cold One Dread Knights are going to come up and destroy what remains of my dude and Mercado Pulse, I really need to send these guys over here to help in the, in the melee fight. The archers are still trying to help to maintain hope and just continue shooting, trying to eliminate that monstrosity. But now, yeah, they they, they feel the cold one dread knights coming up from behind them and, they, and they're going to get eaten. Yeah, poor guys. And meanwhile, the Hargon Executioner is also coming in and destroying yet another unit of Doom Diver Catapults. Things are, things are not looking good right now. Most of the high ups and the and the other parts of the army have been lost. Tyrion coming in trying to shut down this, these other units, but uh, yeah, with a with a blood dragon coming in, same with a with a club Nagash. Yeah, it, it appears like Tyrion has been more than he could chew. I mean, he's bunching bunching them up, so the archers are going to have uh, an issue target. But yeah, with a month, yeah, he's going to. Here we go, trying to keep him keep him in the fight, but. Uh, yeah, he's going to get destroyed pretty easily now because he's surrounded and... Yep, there we go. He, Tyrion has fallen and with that, pretty much any hope that the High Elf and Orc army had of... of winning this fight. The Orc Shaman being pursued by the Cold One Dread Knights, they do not want him to drop another uh, foot of work in, into them. The Blood Knights remembering the, the dead of their fallen brothers trying to surround the Orc Shaman. Same with the Club Nagash. And meanwhile, what remains of the of the Hyal army is retreating, running to the hills. And meanwhile, what remains of the army, the Black Horse are finally coming up from the forest. A bit too late. They finally ended the pursuit of the Kainet Assassin, but yeah, this is too late. Army losses is kicking in and the battle is lost. And that 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 lot was pretty much my fault, if I'm going to be honest. I am into the main fight, trying to kill the Cloud Nagash. The shy who loots army here. We go. Here we go. I don't uh, fuck up his uh, his name anymore. But yeah, I mean, I did some uh, some good things with the foot of work and saving tier. But yeah, I I I I mostly fucked up. I did I didn't protect my uh, Diver catapults as good as I could have and. That that basically spelled the end of my army. The the high elves trying uh, desperately to keep on the fight, but I pretty much abandoned them because I'm a I'm a bit of an idiot. Let's be honest. Okay, so uh, let's see the, how the after game results. Uh, Tyrion basically not doing too much. He was sniped by the darkers pretty early on by the Cold One Dread Knights and the Kainet Assassin and. They continue to pursue him, pursue him, and not allowing him to do anything. Meanwhile, the major fires also not doing a lot. He was she was sniped pretty early on when she uh, dived into the blood knights and then was surrounded and killed basically. Same with the with the spearmen, they were not able to do a lot. They did what they could, but against that infantry and those blood knights, there was not a lot they could do. The archers, oh my god, this unit also all, all, doing. God's work, a thousand seven hundred. A certain will be proud of these guys. Oh my God, really, really great archers here. Uh, they were just left to fire away at, and kill all the blood knights on the uh, club and do damage to the club. Nagash, the lot of cigars also not uh, not performing great. Same with the frost hair phoenix and same with the eagle vault throwers. They were shot down pretty early on. They were pushed into uh, into the front lines and were. Just gobbled up by the when the front line broke. Meanwhile, my army, my orc shaman, of course, doing amazing with that fruit of work and that support with the with the spells. Gringor not able to do much because, uh, yeah, he was not uh, fighting a lot of the time. He was pursuing that Kenya assassin and he only lost about a third of his health. And meanwhile, my black horse doing what they could, but paying themselves a bit. But I mean. Not, a, not as much as they needed to do. And the Crimson Killers not doing anything at all, honestly. Just They were sending too early, too late to to, to really uh, 
do what I needed to do. They still have a lot of the health. I really miss. I really miss just my infantry in the, in this fight. And the Doom Diver catapults did a. They had a, a variety of what they did. This one didn't do anything. Only five hundred. This one did a bit better. Nine hundred. Then we have a thousand two hundred. And then we have a th another thousand two hundred. And then a thousand four hundred. Yeah. And an, an army full of Doom Diver catapults. Yeah. Who would have guessed? Not the best of choices. <laughs> Meanwhile, Archer doing really well considering the well this unit just got trashed considering uh, he lost like a third of his army early on with a foot of work the club nagash probably did a lot to keep up his army's uh, fighting power meanwhile why a motor why i author doing a uh, pretty good the kind of assassin doing a, a lot of a lot of damage probably to Tyrion. most of his inventory not being able to do much but he Hargan Executioners, yeah, doing pretty good. Same with the Cogwan Dread Knights, although some of them did not do anything because he kind of forgot about them, but uh, I mean, if he had sent them in earlier, we probably would have lost a bit faster. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, what is the moral of the day? Five Doom Diver Catapults? Yeah, they may be too much, too many Doom Diver Catapults. Yeah, well, that was all for today. Uh, this was full, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.